So the process of filmmaking is completely changing, and AI is that game changer. Sora is this new AI model created from OpenAI, and it's a text-to-video platform where we can literally go and type in anything we want, our imagination is the limit, and then it'll spit out exactly what we type in. It looks amazing, I can't believe where we're at right now. This is what we used to have for AI a year ago. <laughs> and then this is what we have now. And all you have to do is just type on a keyboard what you want. It's going to completely change filmmaking. What we're going to see in this video is you're going to see clips of some maybe you have seen before. And I can almost guarantee you're going to see some clips in here that you've never seen before from Sora. And this is going to be really fun to see. We're going to be talking about it. And my mind is blown every time I'm watching it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at it. You're going to see the prompts that are given and then you're going to see what it spits out, just the system on its own, no editing done, simply from text and then straight to video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first it says, we're sharing our research progress early to get feedback from people outside of OpenAI to give people a sense of what AI capabilities are on the horizon. We will be taking several important safety steps before this research becomes available on any of our products. Sora is a new AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text prompts. So here's the first one. The simple prompt is a cartoon kangaroo disco dances. And from this, this is what's created. It's amazing to see that this is created and it looks like it could almost be in a video game like Just Dance. This one says, okay, a litter of golden retrievers and they're in the snow. Look at this. This one here looks realistic. If I saw this online, I wouldn't for two seconds think, oh, this must be an AI generated model. The fur and everything is so perfect on these. This one looks really good. Yeah, see, I can't believe these. Okay, this one says a Petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it that has tiny red pandas running around. Okay, let's see what this creates. Now, obviously you can see in this one, it's not perfect because pan red pandas are just multiplying out of nowhere, but you could easily picture that to be something in a commercial just to watch this Petri dish, and then you have bamboo, and you have these red pandas running around without them multiplying, but it could be a simple clip that you see in a commercial. Okay, this one looks amazing. This one, again, I wouldn't be able to tell by watching this. And the ocean looks perfect. This one I can't even believe. Look how realistic this person looks. This looks like an exact human being. See, does this look fake to anybody? If you're watching this, let me know in the comments down below if you think this looks fake. Let's just go back to that. I want you just to see what the prompt was for this video. So the prompt is a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, Salt Desert, cinematic style, shot on 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. So just from that, it went and created this amazing footage. And look, even if we pause right here, and you can see the helmet, and then you see the red, the red knitted part on it, you can also see how there's little hairs sticking out from the side. It's not just completely flat, not completely smooth. It looks realistic. And I, if I was to see this, I never would have thought that this was AI generated. I literally would have thought that this is a real human being who was shot on camera. All right, here's another one. Yeah, so good. Now for these ones, because it is a uh, text video, um, it'll give you the images so we can see the image of the boat in the water um, moving around, but there won't be any sound to it. And I don't know if that's something that they're going to add in the future. I don't think it is. I think it's just mainly literally you go from your text and then you get the video output. And this here seems real, Japan. All right, this robot. This you could picture in a video game easy. And I think people will be able to use this when they're creating video games. They just type in what they want and the AI model will be able to create it. And then it won't take hours and hours and hours, days, 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 and years to just create some footage like this. Think about storylines that you have in video games. All of a sudden you can cut the video game making time in half. Okay, we got this cute little monster thing. Okay, this one we got a big, we got a big text prompt here. 
See, this one's good, this one's clean. To me, this one's almost even potentially too clean. This one can look like a video game. It looks like a very good video game. But if you notice, just from the quality of what these images look like, it either looks very realistic or like an amazing video game quality. This one's very cool. See, this is insane that they can do this. This is like mid-journey on crack. See, that cat looks completely real. Something about the person in, in this one, it seemed a little off, but the cat seemed real. Okay, we got our woolly mammoths here. This one looks a little AI generated, a little easier to tell. What do you guys think of this clip? When I see this one, sometimes I think that it's almost if it was a very good video game. Yeah, it's amazing the shadows and everything they get. Now something like this, see this wall of TVs? Imagine that you had a film that you were trying to shoot and, you, and your concept was that you wanted to have a lot of TVs that a certain character is gonna look at. Well, it'd be very hard for you to get all of these TVs because one, you're gonna have either have to buy them or rent them, and then you're gonna have to get the manpower to stack them up like this, and then you're gonna have to go through all the safety protocols, and it's a lot of time, and it's a lot of money to go and create just this shot. All of a sudden, you get to save that money, and you get to add in this really cool clip that benefits your film. Mm, this one is amazing. A young man in his 20s, sitting on a cloud. Everyone that I've shown this to says that it looks so realistic. Again, it's not perfect. There was a moment there in the book where it kind of moved funny. It moved how the pages would never move. But again, in six months from now, a lot of this stuff will be worked out. And in five years, I, again, I have no idea where we're going to be in five years now. This one, again, this is another amazing one. I don't know if you've ever seen the show Little House on the Prairie but I could picture the quality is the exact same and I could picture this being shot within that show. If somebody would have said, hey, this was shot in Little House on the Prairie and then they showed me this, again, I'm not thinking this is an AI generated um, text to video at all. This is an animation thing. Yeah, this will be a huge game changer for animation. Animation and video games too. It's going to affect everything. This one looks like a stock footage clip that you could get. Again, you have something like this. You're able to use Sora. Now you won't have to go try and to search for the perfect stock footage that you need. You can just type on the computer what you want and then it'll give you exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, I know I've had to go through stock footage before, and, and sometimes it's tricky to find the perfect one, but if you can type it in, that's the best. This one here, super good. Yeah, oh my god. And how the petals are falling off of the tree. A stop motion animation of a flower. Yeah. Their text prompts move by kind of fast. Okay, this one. A tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, this one is a long one. I'm not reading all of them to you. If you guys want to pause and then read them, you can. Um, but I don't know if everybody wants to read all of them. Yeah, see this one? Very, very good. That little smile at the end. I'd say this one looks a little bit more like that video game like a very good high quality video game. Again, sometimes they have that perfect high quality video game look. Sometimes they have um, that ultra realistic look. It just, it depends. But nonetheless, still amazing compared to what we had before. Now this one here, I would have thought that this was 100% real. The reflection in the eyeball. Yeah, see the lines on her face? 
this one looks amazing now I'm sure if you were to pause the video video and you looked in the background I'm sure there's something you could find that's not perfect something that's off um, but when you're just looking at this and and you're not specifically going and looking at the background or trying to find something that's missing or not working to the average person watching it it's gonna look completely right just think about how many films have been out there that aren't AI generated, just legit films, and there's some mistake in the background um, or something with continuity that nobody ever notices. Of course, if you're looking for it, you'll notice it. But it's so good that you won't that that you won't even be paying attention to the mishaps that sometimes might come about. Yeah, scary good. This clip here looks like something that came out of an Eddie Murphy movie that I just saw um, during Christmas time. There were these little characters that would move around and this guy looks like he could have been in that movie. And again, this would save so much time. You go on your computer, you type what you're looking for, boom, this pops out. Then you can move on to the next scene. Films can be created so much quicker with a process like this. I'm really curious to see if at some point in time they're at uh, audio to any of these that'd be really 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 interesting to see or if they gave people an option to have it with audio or without audio this one's another one that's pretty good there's a moment in here where you see it where it's, it's a mistake that the AI makes like right here all of a sudden when the wolf disappeared there was another wolf in its place so not perfect, but still very well done. Right now you can kind of tell from the AI a lot. It likes to do, not all the time, but it likes to do some of these slower camera movements or camera pans. Also let us know down in the comments which one that you think is your favorite or which one is done really well. Yeah. So as you can see, filmmaking is gonna change completely. With how realistic some of these clips are, if you can put those into your film, who's not gonna to wanna to go and use SOAR for themselves? The one of the reasons that this is great is because if you wanna go and make a big film for yourself, if we think about the biggest films that came out last year, the budgets are huge. Who has that amount of money on average to go and put into a film? Most people don't. So who does SOAR help out the most? It's really gonna help out all of those amateur filmmakers. We're gonna be able to bring them up, boost their skills up even more. Because let's imagine that scene that there was the TV and there was all those TVs, the whole wall of TVs. The amount of time and the amount of money needed to go and create that scene is extremely difficult. But if you can go and use your fingers, type on a computer, you'll be able to get that scene down, done, no problem. And you have to remember, it's not just money at the disposal of filmmakers, but it's also jobs. If you're a filmmaker, but you're an amateur filmmaker, so you don't have a lot of money, well, you gotta put food on your table. So what are you doing? You're working. Either you got a full-time job or you got a part-time job. Now you gotta schedule your full or part-time job with the actors that you're working with, and then booking locations, and then also getting all the material, getting all of those TVs, having the time to set them all up, and then if you're renting them, then you gotta go and return them all. It's very stressful for filmmakers who don't have money and or time to go and do a lot of these things. So something like this is really gonna be helpful to those amateur filmmakers out there because now you have so many more opportunities at your disposal. You, there's so many different types of scenes that you can shoot. I know a lot of different filmmakers who wanna go and shoot a scene for themselves, but again, they don't have the time, they don't have the money. All of a sudden, this bypasses that. This is your solution. And the great thing is, is it looks good. Again, before what we had, it looked horrible. You can never put that in any movie or any TV show. This stuff looks realistic. Again, if you were to watch this, there's so many things that you would watch and be like, oh my God, I would have no idea that that was an AI created video. So let us know down in the comment section below, where do you think this is gonna go further? Where do you think it's gonna be in the next six months to a year? Do you think it's beneficial to filmmakers? Do you think it's gonna be helpful to them? What are your thoughts on that? And also, which one was your favorite? Which one do you think put out the best image? I think the one that was really good um, was the trailer, the one where it had the guys and they had those, um, what was it, the, the, the helmets that were knitted red. I think that those ones looked the best, uh, but there was also another one that I was telling you guys, the one where it showed the girl's eyeball. 
um, and it showed her face and that one also looked really good to me so again it's amazing it's a game changer for anybody who's wanting to go and create feature short films or people who want to go and create animated films or people who want to go and even do video games a lot of video games have storylines in between the action and the gameplay Think about how much easier it would be to just go on your computer and say, hey, I want this to happen in the storyline, and then it creates it for you in the time span of maybe two minutes. It would be amazing. So this technology, AI, it's crazy. I thought we were gonna have this in five to 10 years, and then we have it today. So I don't even know what we're gonna have in five to 10 years from now, but I'm sure it'll be something amazing and even beyond what we can anticipate. So I hope you all like this video. I have more Sora videos specifically coming out. Make sure you subscribe so you can see those because those are going to be big ones, especially with it related to different filmmakers and all of that, but also just using the software and all of it. So anyways, um, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Peace.